Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, and initially I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time recording a video this week, mostly because I have a cold and I don't want to absolutely wreck my voice, but I felt like I had to get this video done. So what am I ranting about today? Well, I got a whole lot of emails today saying that various streams that I had done in the past, years ago actually, had been copyright claimed. So my initial reaction was, oh, I've got a whole lot of emails here. Oh, and imagine I'm in my bed. This is in the morning. So, I've got a whole lot of emails here. Oh, and they all say a copyright claim was created for content in yada yada yada. That was streams that I did years ago. And then it said that it was claimed by Illustrated Sound Music. So I thought, you know, it was probably due to music that was played within the game. But something about it didn't sit right with me. The copyrighted content is Kingdom Hearts 15, Tradu Zido Atlantica, okay? That sounds vaguely like it could be a track of an album, but I was unable to check because I was on my phone. So I waited a bit, I got a few more emails, then I posted a screenshot of it on Twitter. I got more emails. Now that was particularly weird to me because if it was an automated system like YouTube going ahead and saying, Oh look, you've got a whole lot of videos that have copyrighted content in them. I would have thought that, you know, it would have all appeared at once. I'd gotten all the emails at once saying, Hey look, you've got like 20 videos that have copyrighted content in them. Where uh, It's been claimed. But instead, there were breaks between emails. Sometimes it would be a break of an hour, sometimes it would be a break of 15 minutes. And so this seemed to suggest that it was someone going ahead and manually looking at these videos. So, uh, I don't know, thank you for the watch time? Now when it comes to ad revenue from these videos, I don't really care about it because NOBODY WATCHES THESE VIDEOS! I don't give a shit about the two cents that I might miss out on! So initially my plan was to check if these are legitimate. If they weren't legitimate, I'd dispute them and move on. Now the first thing that I noticed when checking the legitimacy of these claims is that Illustrated Sound Music had not copyrighted audio content, but video content. Amazing! And it gets even better, the section that apparently was copyrighted was gameplay. Apparently this is owned by somebody that nobody else is allowed to use. So this kind of bullshittery prompted me to look into it, seeing as I'd received about 25 emails at that point. So I asked someone that I know called Dean Weiss if any of his videos had been claimed because he had streamed this game as well. None of his videos have been claimed. So that's when I decided to check, okay, what is this copyrighted content and who the hell is Illustrated Sound Music? Well, as it turns out, Illustrated Sound Music is a network. More specifically, a multi-channel network. You know, those things that used to be really important like five years ago on YouTube, but are now just fading into irrelevancy? So yeah, that adds a whole lot more context. Another thing that I found is that it wasn't just one person's videos that were being used to claim my videos. It was multiple people's videos. So this means that it wasn't some random bloke that had played Kingdom Hearts who had decided, Oh, I've played Kingdom Hearts! Time to copyright claim as many videos as I can for that sweet, sweet ad revenue. No, it was very clearly Illustrated Sound Music doing this. Now, one of the funniest things though is that one of the streams that was copyrighted was a stream that I did in January of 2017. Now, the video that I had apparently used copyrighted content from was a video published in July 2017. What? Did I fail basic primary school stuff or something? Like, is, I know I get March and May mixed up sometimes, but I'm pretty sure July comes after January. Unless there's a giant conspiracy in which July is before January or something. Or what about a stream that I did in August of 2017 and apparently the video that it's using copyrighted content from was posted in December of 2018. This can't be re did Did someone... Did I fail maths as well? Did I... Because I'm pretty sure 2018 comes after 2017. This is stupid. Now, I have a feeling how they expected to get away with it. But it is kind of stupid that they went ahead and filed 29 copyright claims 
on my videos. How do you expect people to not notice that? If there had been just one copyright claim, I just probably wouldn't have noticed it show up in my emails in the first place. But here's what I think, and this is speculation. So what I think that they've done is they've gone ahead and targeted channels where these videos don't get as many views as bigger channels would. That way, nobody big goes ahead and complains about it. That way, YouTube doesn't notice what they're doing. Because if they were targeting larger YouTube channels, I think that by now, there would already be a video that has way more than 2,000 views on it. Now, I'm not the only person that's been affected. There's been plenty of other people that have been affected as well. And I don't think that anybody has lost a whole lot, you know. At most, maybe someone has lost 20 cents. But let's just say that a million claims have been passed out by illustrated sound music that could be two hundred thousand dollars that they get and quite frankly i think that it's bullshit that they get to do this normally i wouldn't care about two cents but in this case as a matter of principle i'm keeping my two cents and here's a few things that i think should be done to try and lessen the amount of money that illustrated sound music is getting so the first thing is that we should politely let the channels that are being used for this malicious behavior know what's going on that their content is being used to file false copyright claims. That way they can leave the MCN and therefore their content can no longer be used to file false copyright claims. The second thing is to try and get illustrated sound music yeeted off YouTube. And the way to do this is to just let everyone know what's going on. If we can get some big channels talking about this, eventually YouTube will take notice. And if YouTube takes notice, then illustrated sound music will get kicked off of YouTube. So here's what you need to do. Share this video and other videos that you see talking about this issue. Tag YouTube on Twitter. If they get enough people tagging them, they will take notice. And lastly, we need to come up with a hashtag to try and get that trending on Twitter so that everyone hears about it. So yeah, that's what needs to be done. And you know, I will admit that I do want to see illustrated sound music burn to the ground. You see, this won't be up at 6am in the morning. I haven't gotten very good sleep over the past couple of days because I have a cold. Also, I have better things to do with my time than to spend an hour going through and disputing false copyright claims. So yes, because of that, I think that they deserve the worst form of punishment that is possible. That's a joke, by the way. Don't take that bit about punishment seriously.